New details on a brazen burglary of a Delaware gun store. Today, authorities found the flatbed truck that a thief used to ram into Miller's Gun Center in Wilmington Manor. That truck was found right across the street, but the suspect managed to get away. Tuesday night, the big story on Action News is the investigation into a calculated gunshot burglary. Tonight is still unclear exactly how many guns were stolen. Action News reporter Walter Perez looking into the details live for us in Wilmington Manor. And Walter, you had a chance to talk to the shop's owner. That's right, Shari and Rick. According to sources close to the investigation, at this point, indications are that one person pulled off this caper, and tonight investigators are hoping to catch that suspect and recover those guns soon. The owner of Miller's Gun Center in Newcastle says the burglary at his shop was nothing short of well-planned and brazen. Being right on this highway uh, and a very secure building, and we've got Newcastle County Police headquarters three miles north of us, We've got Delaware State Police Troop 2, five miles south of us. Was absolutely brazen to even attempt this. Investigators say the thief started by stealing this flatbed truck from this facility in the Brandywine 100 area. A short time later, just before 2 o'clock yesterday morning, the suspect backed the flatbed at a high rate of speed into the front of the gun store on Route 13. The shop security system did notify police right away. But a witness told authorities what they would be looking for. A passerby actually called and said that they saw a uh, steak body truck backing into the business. Regardless, the thief got away with an undisclosed number of handguns. But in an odd twist, while this trail of bricks reveal how the suspect fled the scene down Route 13 southbound, the flatbed was recovered more than 24 hours later at this dry cleaner right across the street from the gun shop. Investigators are now going through surveillance video to determine how and hopefully why the suspect returned to the scene without being detected. Meanwhile, as you'd imagine, Bob Miller is eager for investigators to catch the person responsible. I just didn't think anything like that would ever happen to us. We've got a really, really good security system and we've got surveillance. Very brazen, very brazen to do what he did. And, um, and that may be what gets him caught. A surveillance video of the burglary has not been released to the media at this time. Tonight, that video is being reviewed by several law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, the ATF, and Newcastle County Police. Anyone with further information is asked to contact the authorities. Reporting live from Newcastle, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News. Shari? All right, Walter, thank you. Laura